Hello, my friends, Enrique here, and today I'm going to show you the best tool that you can have in your system to repair errors and problems inside of Windows. To download it, you have to open your web browser and go into windowsrepairtoolbox.com. Scroll down until you see the download link right here. Click on it, and once you have it downloaded, you want to go into your download folder, right-click into the file, and click to extract all. Once everything is extracted, you want to double-click into the Windows Repair Toolbox. You want to click into Start, it's going to perform a loading sequence, and now the tool is open. As you can already see right off the bat, we have already seen what CPU model do you have, your memory, and the version of Windows that you have installed in your system. This toolbox is available to work with Windows 10 and Windows 11, and is highly customizable to fit better your needs. Now, on this first side, you're going to see right here the hardware tools that you can download and install in your system. All of these tools are going to give you some information about your CPU, GPU, memory, and also to test your system. These are great tools to have already installed in your system, but if you don't have it, with one click in the software, you can download it already. Here are some of the most used ones, like they are CPU-C, gpu C that give you all the information about your CPU or your GPU, HW Monitor, that is going to give you information about voltages, temperatures, and everything else that you need to know in your system. It's only an example of a couple of them. Here in Tobacco and Recovery, as the name itself, there are some applications that can help you to backup your system, or even to recovery if you have deleted or loosed some files into it. Every time you click into one of these links, let's take, for example, the fast copy one, it's going to download and install that application in your system. As you can see it right here, it's going to download it and open it. All these downloads, you are going to find them inside of the Windows Repair Toolbox into the Downloads folder. Here you can see it. So it's perfect because all of these tools, they really don't take too much space. So you can have the software installed into a USB drive and to be able to use it in any PC or any system that you wish. Why this Windows Repair Toolbox is so great? Because in here, you're going to have easy access to every useful tool that you are really going to need to be able to repair or diagnose a system. For example, here you have to grant permissions, the system internals, don't sleep, blue screen, app crash, and in the Windows tab, you're going to be able to open really easily things like the Task Manager, for example, the Event Viewer, if you want to see any event problems that you have in your system, Disk Cleanup, Check Disk, it's already going to start the command on the command prompt right here. And as I said before, you can also customize it by adding yourself which one that you prefer. I'm going to show you that a little bit later on in the video. Into the repair section, you're going to find some tools that are going to be really useful to repair some problems into Windows. Let's take, for example, here the troubleshoot, click into it. You can see here the troubleshooter from Windows is open, or if you download the internet repair tool, it's going to get open, and with this, it can help you to repair some problems that you can have with your internet connection. And if you don't really know what any of these tools do, you only have to place your mouse above one of them, and it's going to pop one small pop-up to show you what this tool does. For example, FreeFixer is a general purpose removal tool which will help you to delete malware. Or for example, AutoRuns that enumerates all the programs that automatically start in Windows machine. You can download it, you can not read, and here it's going to show you all the programs that you have that start automatically with Windows. You can close them. Any tools that you really need to help you repair your system. On installers, as the name itself, you know that sometimes, especially if you buy a new computer, it comes with a lot of bloatware. And other programs are really difficult to delete or they don't remove everything completely from your system. Well, these tools are going to help you to completely remove everything. Or for example, it's also going to help you to uninstall a graphic driver if you're going to change your graphic card, for example, for AMD to NVIDIA. You have the DVU tool right here, that is the display driver uninstaller. If you have in your time deleted and installed new games often in your system, especially if you are using an older PC, you want to use the Rec Seeker that is going to search for entries in the registry editor that you are not really using on your system that they didn't get deleted by the uninstaller. Now, if you go into the malware removal tool, you're going to see here some malware removal software to help you to check your PC and to see that you don't have any malware on it. It's going to be, for example, Arkill, Microsoft, 
That is the Microsoft Safety Scanner, Kapersky if you want it, I will not recommend it though. And you can select it right here, then click into run and they're going to run them yourself. Then you also have some maintenance and repair tools, like CC Cleaner, I really recommend this tool right here. And you can also check for updates in Windows, Patch My PC and the Intel drivers. And here you see a little bit of RAM usage, a little bit of monitoring of your system. Now from here we go into the custom tools. In here you can add custom tools into the Windows Repair Toolbox. All that you have to do is to add or install tools into this folder right here. And then you will have it in this list. You want to click into Start and they are going to run them. And now if you open this file right here, you can also add download links and tools that they will automatically download and run every time you use this software. That is how you can customize the Windows Repair Toolbox. Into the final test, this is where you have finished it already. Troubleshooting and you think that you have the system completely working, you can do right here is to do some checks in that system that you was working. For example, a quick check that is going to check everything about the computer health. You can make a Java chef, it's going to start to open a PDF file, a Word file, if you're having any problems with them, MP3 file, MP4. You can also test for screen tearing, sound of the speakers, mouse, internet speed, everything else. And even you can do a heavy load stress test in your system. Here you can write some notes. If you are repairing someone else's PC and you want to take notes of something to have in mind in the future, you can write them right here. And now into the settings, you can go and update everything. You can clear all the downloads. You can turn on and off different monitor settings, or you can set another settings, like for example, always update the tools without asking. If you want to send logs from the PC that you're working into yours, you can enter it right here, and then you can change the logs right there. You can change the branding. If you want to make it your own, you can change the icon and even the name of the toolbox. You get it into reset branding. It's going to bring it once more again. Update it and reset to default. And here you know about is to support the creators because this is a completely free tool to use. Guys, this I really recommend everybody to own and to have if you have a spare USB drive, especially install it right there and leave it in the side. So anytime you have a problem, you can open this toolbox and to have everything already there to try to troubleshoot and to fix your Windows system. That is pretty much it for this video, guys. If you find it useful, don't forget to drop a like and a subscriber is always welcome to the channel. Thanks for watching, guys. And like always, see you on the next time. Bye bye.